What's up guys? It's Mr. Lee Redman here with episode number 8 of the Unemployment Challenge in Europe. Uh, I am still currently Iskra Stahl in Moldova's Divisia A, or the second tier of Moldova. We've now completed the season, um, so we'll go straight into the fixtures and have a look at how they've gone. Our last game was this defeat here against Sharif in the um, Cup. We followed that up losing 2-0 against Dacia Shisnau's second side. Um, Christian Turkan was injured in that game. I won't bother going into the fixture, into the details actually. Um, but we lost 2-0 at home to Dacia Chisinau's second. Followed that up by winning 2-0 at Rapids 2's second side. Christian Turkan and Alexander Beseyev scoring for us. We then made it to two wins out of two by beating Ruscani at home 1 0. Alexi Sabatori scoring for us. We then got a massive result against Vintal George 1 0. Viktor Bolosovkov scoring for us. We drew 1 1 at home to Gwigzeya, I think is how you say it. We did have Dmitry Boyev sent off and Anton Nafedov scored for us. We then lost 1 0 at Avoraz. I think as I say it. We then beat Dynamo Autos 5 2 at home. Lebedev double, Nafedov double, and Ko Sabatori scoring for us. We then unfortunately lost a really big game at home to V Vesora. Goal from Nafedov, the only goal for us. We I think we went 2 0 down. We then bounced back by being Saxon 2 0, Lebedev and Shotali scoring. We lost 2 0 at Olympia's second side. Uh, own goal by my keeper and Open Senko getting sent off. We were 0 0 until Open Senko got sent off, and that cost us. We drew 2 2 with eventual champions into Sports Aroma. We had uh, Makarenko sent off, so we had two players in two games. Sorokin and Strollard gave us goals, and then we ran it off by beating Sheriff Tiraspol second team 5 2. The fade off scoring, Sabatori scoring, and Strollard's hat trick. And that is how we finish the season. And we just missed, well, I said just, we missed out on promotion by eight points against Vintal. Um, there's those later results really that cost us the uh, problems, um, especially with the fact that basically, obviously, we don't play each week. One team doesn't play every week due to the fact there only being 13 teams in the uh, division. All in all, I'm, I'm pleased with how we've done. Um, I think we were expected to finish... I think it was seventh or eighth, eighth. So we we're meant to stay up at least, um, but we obviously finished a lot higher. So who knows what could happen next year? Could be battling for promotion. We we'll have to see. We we'll have to obviously improve the squad as well. Um, coming out from Division B is Zimbra just now second side, Floresti, and Cajal. Those guys will be coming up and coming down from Division uh, Dash. The national division is Dynamo Autos. And Academia Shisanao. So Academia comes straight back down. And again, as you can see, Sheriff have won the title, losing only one game all season. Um, no surprise. In the UEFA Cup, I think it was. How did they finish in the group stages? Well, they lost to Sevilla 2 0, Gumras 1 0, 2 0 Roma, 4 0 against Roma, Sevilla they lost 2 0. And they lost three two against Gumers at home, so they at least scored. And again, they did the double because they've actually won the cup as well. Who did they lose to in the league? Very early on, they got being at home five two by Dynamo Autos. Um, so they'll again be in the Champions League. The UEFA Cup representatives will be very Stasia and Zimbru. Zimbru taking the last place due to Sheriff taking the uh, UEFA Cup. So um, we'll have to see how that goes next season for uh, Moldovan clubs. It's potential that they could uh, move up quite a few places due to Sharif doing well again. Confidence-wise, obviously they loved how well we did um, in the league, considering it was just a stake of relegation. Moldovan Cup, we got to the third round and where they wanted us to, though, and no surprise we actually lost to Sheriff Tiraspol's um, side. Um, the best side in Moldova essentially um, financials 
15,000 and potentially 145k in the bank at some point. I'm not quite sure how that is, but there you go. Um, I'm very secure in a job as well. Let's just go and have a look at Gibraltar and have a look at Premier Division. So it's, uh, I think it's actually, is it Mons Copper again? It's going to be there. Um, no, I think it's going to be links actually in the Champions League this year. We've had the Brazilian World Cup. So I'll keep quick shift here. Who won that? I don't know one going to Europe. Um, Spain beat Brazil. So let's have a look at. Oh no, let's go back to. Oh, now we're able to change that bit. But stages. Um, it's gonna be a bit of a pain doing it this way, but oh well. See how England go on and everything. Probably a much easier way to do this, but I can't remember. Um, so England had Algeria, Germany, and Honduras. So they beat Algeria 2-0. I would expect them to qualify from that group. Um, so obviously they won 2-0 there. Drew 0 with Germany. And Algeria beat Honduras. So... Germany and Algeria, uh, Germany and England qualified from that section. And then the, I think they had, a, I think I saw they, yeah, they beat the USA in the second round. What about the cores? It was smashed by Brazil. So, hmm, Bosnia made the quarterfinals. We actually do have come up this year the champ, European Championships. I'll look at the qualifiers first. So obviously this is also the new one where it's um, 24 teams. So we've got Austria, Spain, you've got Georgia qualifying ahead of Norway. Right, as you do. I'm expecting one or two teams like that, but considering Norway were in that group, I wasn't expecting that. Romania, Croatia and Ireland got to the playoffs. Um, Gibraltar actually scored a goal. Nice. Belgium and Wales. Sweden finished fourth. Really? Okay. England qualified with Belarus. Portugal and Switzerland. Montenegro topped the group ahead of Germany. Okay. And then Group G, you got Turkey, Russia, and Albania. And then you got Ukraine, Bosnia, and the final teams Holland, Serbia, Czech Republic, Italy, and Denmark. Um, so here are the, here's the groups. So England will be with. Portugal, Gaul, Ukraine, and the Welsh. Nice. I also believe the World Cup qualifiers have also been joined as well, which they have England, Estonia, Australia, Finland, Scotland, and Liechtenstein. Nice. So, quite a few friendlies, Europe, World Cup qualifiers as well. So, um, interesting to see how that goes. Just going to have a look, actually, this is the third season, so we're just going to have a look at my profile. Um, some local reputation. Um, not bad everything else to be fair. Hands on approach. Media. That's actually quite high. I don't normally do the press conferences and all that. Um, what we will have a look at is the overview. So we've got 73 games in charge. Just under a 50% uh, win ratio. Um, I've also got one promotion. And one trophy, obviously, as well. So there we go. One trophy in the Moldovan division B Nord. Um, so that isn't too bad. Uh, but that is it for this episode, guys. Leave some likes, leave some comments, subscribe. We'd appreciate it all. Tune in next time for the... Um, what you call it? The uh, transfer window. And uh, see how that goes. And just a couple of games as well. Might have a live comment in our section. We'll have to wait and see. But uh, tune in next time, guys. And until then, as always, take it steady.